What's up guys, Mr. Watermelon here, and today I am bringing you guys a set review of this promotional set. This is the Classic Knight set. The set is number, where is it? 504419. You see it right there. And the set retails for free if you spend $50 or more at the Lego store or Lego shop at home between June 30th and July 10th, 2016. So, this is going to be like an unboxing build and review. Well, not, not really a build. I'm going to build it off camera. But, either way, I'm really looking forward to the set because the Knight's Kingdom and Castle themes were some of my favorite sets when I was younger. The Castle themes just recently, but Knight's Kingdom when I was younger. And I have the classic space one, so I know what to expect from this. So, some very cool, like, timeline elements, the history of LEGO Castle. And you get a cool little classic minifigure and a little, uh, it's a cart. I don't know, turret bike. 47 pieces, um, you get the classic Lego system logo up there, and I really like this box style, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this right now. It's got one little piece of tape right here, there we go, and the box slides open like so, very neat. So here we got the pieces, we got, this is a sticker sheet, this is a sticker sheet, I believe. It's like suctioned in there. Oh, very cool. Little Knight's logo on the front and back of this little box. We've got... Oh, this is... Okay, so they did the same thing with the... Uh, I think they did this with the Pirates. Yeah, this is like a postcard and a sticker sheet. Ooh, a LEGO system sticker. That's pretty cool. Uh, LEGO sticker. And here are the stickers. Going all the way back, they've got the dates underneath them. That's very cool. Oh, all the way up to Nexo Knights. That's pretty neat. Uh, here's the little instruction booklet. And I'm sure this has all the... All the stuff from the last one. Alright, we got the build here. I'll build that in a second. I'll show you the review in just a moment. And then, piece inventory. And then we get into, like, the set history of the Knights... The, uh, the Knights line from LEGO. Very cool. Um... I, I never saw a lot of these old castle sets. So these are kind of cool for me. Uh, we're going into the 80s and the 90s. Let's see. I'm looking for Knights Kingdom. <laughs> Whenever that's gonna come around. Oh, we're still in the 90s. Okay. Here we go. Knight's Kingdom. This was my favorite theme when I was a kid. Besides Star Wars, really? Oh, but this is the Wave 2 of Knight's Kingdom. Mmm, I didn't like those guys. <laughs> Sorry, little rant for myself. I like the first generation Knight's Kingdom. And then we go all the way to castle sets, which I've got these little castle sets down here. Not the kingdoms, but that's a that's a cool set as well. Um, a little Nexo Knights promotion. We go all the way, and all the way down to 2016, where we got this little promotion set. And, ooh, here's the, the timeline. So we're going from the 70s all the way through the 80s and 90s. Huh, 1997. That's when I was born. <laughs> Fun fact. Uh, 98, 2000. Hey, it's, uh, what was his name? Oh, I forget his name. King, uh, it wasn't King. No, the, the kingdom was Morsha. I forget what the, King Matthias. King Matthias. That's that guy's name. Oh, there's Lord Vladek. I know him as well. I'm all the old knight stuff. Well, I guess that's the Nexo Knights King down there. That's pretty cool. That's the booklet. There's the back of the booklet. So I'm going to go ahead and build the set, and uh, we'll take a look at it. So guys, here's the set fully built. And I must say, for the low threshold of $50, this is actually a pretty decent-sized set. Like, this is my hand, and this is the little vehicle you get. It's pretty cool. And um, and here's the minifigure you get. He is very simple, but that's the whole point. For him to be a classic knight's figure. You get this awesome printed shield with this cool lion logo on it. The same lion logo is in gold on his torso, the, uh, just the regular minifigure head, no back print, no leg print, no arm print, no other side of the head print, what you see is what you get, and it's very cool, very simple, very retro, and here's the build, there's no special features to the build besides that it does roll on its wheels, um, you get two of these printed shields, which I didn't, I didn't expect, and if I look at, on the package, it actually, it shows it a little bit, but you can't see it really well, so I found that to be really cool. You actually get two of these shields, and it comes with these three spears that there's no play functions, which is actually very good. Uh, you get this barrel, I guess, of ammunition. These little handles back here, if you want to take the accessories off and have the minifigure roll the cart around, that's what that's for. I'm not going to do that, though, because there's no, not really a point. But it's a pretty sturdy build. It's a weird little build, not going to lie, like when I was building it. Which is kind of strange, but it all comes together very well in the end. And that's really it. Like, 
this set was nostalgic to me personally because I really like the uh, I like the knights theme, like from Lego, because like I said, Knights Kingdom Castle. So honestly, for the low for the uh, you know relatively low threshold of fifty dollars, this set is available for eleven days from today when you're watching this, the thirtieth, to um, what is it, the tenth, July tenth, yeah. And it's for oh I sh I should mention that it's actually for VIPs only. So if you go in there, you're not a VIP member, sign up for the VIP program, which, honestly, if you're not signed up for the VIP program, you really, really should, because they, for every $100 you spend, you get $5 in rewards that you can, like, accumulate and then spend on something bigger. Like, right now, I think I have $45 worth of rewards that's waiting to be redeemed. So I highly suggest you do that if you haven't. And this set, I, sh I forgot to mention, is actually for VIPs only. So... If you are not a VIP member, sign up for the VIP program and get the set. It's a relatively low threshold, and it's definitely worth it. And for all the extra things you get, like the the awesome manual, the stickers, and the box, which I will most definitely not be throwing away, I think that it is well worth it. So thank you guys very much for checking out my review of the set. Be sure to give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. And be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. I primar primarily do LEGO Star Wars things like uh, mocks, animations, reviews, hauls, and analyses. All things LEGO and Star Wars are right there on Watermelon Studios. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys very much for watching. Once again, this has been Mr. Watermelon. Peace out, guys.